Welcome, Scorpion! Scorpion! Oh my God, you guys are going to have a good year, Scorpion. All right, my darlings, welcome. This is the quarter reading. I hope you had a wonderful um, year, Whistling, um, New Year. Um, this is basically um, the... Um, First quarter reading for the year 2020. I want to say Happy New Year. I am wishing you all the luck. I see luck is going to be coming in also. So what is happening, you cancers? You scorpions, I'm sorry. Go and listen to um, the, um, the cancer reading because there are things and situations that is transpiring in that reading that could affect you guys okay what is good is that you have the energy of the magician and i do love the energy of the magician because the energy of the magician is going to be bringing you guys out so positive so positive you have you have here earth and fire and i love this that you're beginning the year with that sort of energy so um scorpion Thank you. Thank you for returning. Please remember, in order to get your extended reading, in order to get your extended reading, I see, in order to get your extended reading, you have to, um, and yeah, when I'm not concentrating, I say these things. You have to um, connect with my channel um, via the super extended chat and um, there you will find this um, balance, okay? So whatever that was going on, let's go in and check it out because uh, um, you scorpions, things are going to be. Now, in the month of January, something unexpected is going to be happening. And you're going to be getting the tool to resolve something in your life. And this is very good because unexpectedly information, situation, light could be shed on something. And I see with whatever the light is being shed on, I see help is going to be coming in. And this is where the magician comes in and is going to give you a couple of tools that is going to be helping you to move on. And this is going to be good because if you're in a situation or so, I see unexpected like information, something on the radio, or you see a reclamer or see you're reading something or a magazine, you sit in a doctor's office, something comes up, you're reading a book, whatever, light shed on something. And that information that you're going to be receiving is going to be the tool that is going to be bringing you forward and this is going to be fabulous so now the energy of the elephant a beautiful energy whatever the issue is and the situation i see you're dealing with an institute the organization but this is a balanced energy you are vibrating in the year of air and this month is going to be a little bit quieter because you're dealing with people in institute the organization but it's a grounding energy which is very good so this is wonderful because you have here and hurt and it's very very positive now when we get to march we have the energy of uh, people in power so you could be dealing with a boss or institute or organization people i ups okay you could be dealing with an officer and uh someone in official um that sort of a thing so be aware of this because this is in february going to march some of you could be getting married so that could be one of the the, the thing some of you could be finding out that getting married is going to resolve a situation also so um that is something that is um really coming in all right so ladies and gentlemen let's look at this and let's check out and see exactly what is happening and how we are going to be looking at certain situations certain aspects okay so we have the energy of the magician and with the energy of the magician we have um an organization so something is going to come to light okay bam 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 nine of cups all right, I did say your year is going to be beautiful, isn't it, darlings? Okay, Scorpion, so this is wonderful. 
Oh, okay. So this is wonderful. Nine of Cups is that your wishes and dreams is coming true. Whatever you had wanted, and this is for yourself, it's not that you wish someone bad luck or whatever and it's going to happen. No, this is for yourself. Something, you could have been in some situation you were open for help, unexpected help, and it's going to be coming in. Bam! <laughs> okay? You could be um, thinking of starting your business and unexpected someone is going to be coming in and said, hey, let me give you a little push up the ladder. Don't forget the person who is going to help you, okay? And this is going to be wonderful because whatever the push is, oh my God, you're going to take it and say thank you very much and you're going to be so grateful and because of your gratitude, I see the universe is opening up like it never opened before. So... Two of Cups. I told you guys was something about marriage. <laughs> so the Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups in an institute's organization has to do with marriage. Okay. I see the marriage of partnership coming in. I see two people connecting and the marriage of partnership is coming in. I see the hearts of open up. Okay, and I see healing of the hearts. Nine of Cups is when nothing in this world, because this is what you was always wanted. You know, when you buy that first laptop or that new iPhone. Oh my God! Don't, no, I'm not giving any reclama for uh, but that new phone. And you know, you sit there and you open the box. And I hate when I'm in the shop that they want to open the box. No, I want to open my box myself with <laughs> something like this. So it's um absolutely fabulous, Scorpions, because you Scorpions, as it came down, like you Scorpions, the last four or five months of 2019 was just so bloody crazy, okay? And here you're receiving a new start. Here you are receiving a new start. Whatever that is happening, I see you moving forward. You're moving forward in the direction that you have always wanted. You could be um, receiving the job by that corporation institute say, that you have always wanted. And I see you're moving forward and getting um, to that place. And it's wonderful. Some of you are overcoming a situation that you had to deal with with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Whoever this person is, um, it could be a partner, it could be someone on the work for it could be a, could have been friends. Uh, whoever these people are, I see you really coming together and moving away from this person. I see you have all the um, the elements and I see you moving forward and this is very good because the nine of cups haven't showed up for anyone and it showed up for you um, scorpions because it's as if the universe is kind of helping you to get out of a, a, dis, um, a period that you were going through and as if the universe is saying you know something um, here Someone is going to come in and help you. A lot of marriage or engagement is going to be happening. A lot of marriage or engagement is going to be happening. I see new offers with new business offers and it is going to be good. I see new business offers and it is going to be good. Whatever is happening and whatever is transpiring, I see new business marriage and that is going to turn out good. The energy of the magician in the month of January, I see you connecting with a Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn man. I see that this man is going to give you some um, insight with an issue and a situation. And what is going to be happening is this man is going to be supporting you on your journeys, helping you. This could be a father. Um, that you haven't spoken to for a while and this father is trying to help you and giving you some positive insight or it's just someone who just want to connect with you and see that you're doing something good and want to reconnect with you and want to get in business with you, okay? In the month of um, February, I see 
um, it could be the ending to a legal issue, okay? And you have won over an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, whoever this person is, or whatever that was transpiring. I see you're going to be winning over this person. Whatever this person has done, I see you're really winning over this person because they have seen that this person has been very deceptive. They have seen that they, this person is connected to a criminal organization and they have found out exactly what has transpired and how this person is a uh, deceive others also all right so this is good I see you're now out of the um, archip with an um, with people in power so it's as if you, you know people in power were working against you I see now you're out of this hardship because whatever that was transpiring um, it you know it's as if things are gonna be changed I see that people find out the truth about an issue and a situation and they're going to be helping you to balance out the situation okay because they realize some lies and deception that was told um, some deceptiveness some of you um, are going to be overcoming a situation a situation that you were not aware of that was transpiring um, some of you were not clear about a situation and all of a sudden something lands on your lap is as if um unexpected okay so you had a situation a conflicts or whatever and um you were wondering um you know you haven't heard anything about this thing because you asked them to look at it and then all of a sudden bam you see the payout on your bank account okay <laughs> so that sort of a thing nine of cups Alrighty, so I see you here with the energy of this King of Wands. Don't do it, ladies and gentlemen, because some of you are not seeing a situation about this King of Wands. This King of Wands is seriously, seriously not seeing the situation. Some of you are dealing or connecting with this King of Wands. It is wrong. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mm -mm. I'm not feeling it. Judgment call is coming down on a young Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. A judgment call is coming down on a young, a young, a young Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. Now, it could be your sister, it could be a family member, it could be a friend. But I'm seeing justice is coming up because it's as if these two, um, these fire sign people were working against you for a very long time. And I see judgment call. You ladies. Uh, um 45 years and older stop with this man this man is carrying you down in a rabbit hole i don't know is it that you're not understanding you have been dealing with the situation this man is a sick man this man is a man you need to let this go okay this man is could be a family member because it's coming up as a tour cup you this man have lied to you and get you in some serious, serious thing. You need to stop because maybe you can't even travel, okay? That is how bad this man is. This man is connected to a criminal organization. Wake the hell up, lady. What's wrong with you? What? Because judgment call is coming down on the Leo, the young Leo, the young Aries Leo or Sagittarius judgment call. And it's created by this man. This man is an international criminal. Why don't you stop? Aren't you aware of that? Whoever you're going to read up people, can't they see this man? This man is wrong for you. Anyway, let me get out of your business, lady, because lady, you, seriously? Okay, so, oh my God, lady, you, it's, it's as if, it's as, and you're going to be heartbroken with this man. This man has done something and got you in problem. And you are still connecting with this man, lady. Your phone has been listened because the man is connected to criminal organization. That's why you're getting deeper and deeper and deeper because your phone has been listening off. They have been following this man and watching this man and you. And this is why you're coming in more deeper and deeper and deeper. Lady, what's, what's wrong with you? Wake up. You're bringing everyone, you are basically bringing everyone in your life and around you because of this man. Wake up, lady, because you're going down with this man. Because anything that this man touch, and you know who you are, it doesn't come out good. 
I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm moving forward because, you know, people just wake up. Wake up, okay? I love you guys, but you gotta wake up. Oh my God, you scorpions have been going through this and you keep on holding on to this man. That's not, you know, this man is, oh, ah, uh, yeah. Love is the energy of this week. You need to heal your heart, okay? I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Well, trust me, there's no good to see in that, man. Just, just say, just say, darling, <laughs> darling. Okay, all right. Oh my gosh, how many times this man is gonna break your heart and you're going to be the man is not speaking the truth? Okay, let it go. Let it go. He is not uh, speaking the truth. I don't know, lady. You bring your family and everyone because of lies and deceptiveness. The man is a salesman, okay? This man can sell you anything let it go and obviously whoever you're going to is not seeing that this man is the devil itself maybe that's the same energy you are who messages coming in so in the month of january um some information some light is going to be shedding on some information and uh that is going to bring you some real luck okay that is going to bring you some luck and especially for you ladies so but it doesn't have to be for you ladies. I see happiness and joy for you ladies in the month of February because I see you're going to be connecting with the man of your dreams. Jesus, no fire sign, please, because water and fire doesn't work, ladies and gentlemen. And even if the passion is hot, the fire is going to hurt the passion or the, the you know, so really, um, it, it doesn't work, it, okay? Um news is going to be coming in in january definitely and the news that is coming in is um is positive in january february so whatever news that is coming in in january and february could be very positive okay and um some of you are going to be reconnecting with a fire sign person i see some of you are dealing with some with a child that is a fire sign and you're really emotional at a wreck with this child this child is created has created so much things to make you feel as if you know does it really does it matter yes it does matter i think you just have to need, let this child know that you know you're a child i don't care what you say i'm your mom don't speak to me like that okay I don't know why some of you ladies let your child that is a Leo manipulates you like that. You let this child take your power. And there's something that you need to, to learn. Um, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter who. Um, do not let people take your power. Okay. Because I'm seeing a mother out there. Because here you are, heartbroken with this young person. All right? I'm speaking to someone who is uh, 45 years and older. You're heartbroken because your son or daughter that is an Aries Lee or a Sagittarius uh, um, is making you feel as if you're not good enough. L listen to me, lady. Wake up. Snap, snap, snap. Wake up. All right, this child needs to find his place, okay? You need to be a mother and you need to say, I am your mother. I gave you nine months to bring you into this world. Don't speak to me like that. And then you will see if this person does a change. Block him up from your phone or him or her. Why are you sitting down letting people um, treat you like that, okay? Block this person from your phone. Let him understand you're his mother. It doesn't really matter if he's uh, uh, six feet high or whatever. You're his mother. Okay? Do not let a child abuse you. This child has been abusing you mentally and physically. Stop it. Okay? S just stop it. Moonlight and darlings. Mm -hmm. We're going to be moonlighting in um, January, February, March. So use the energy of the moon, my darling, um, Scorpions, and 
as you go moonlighting clearing energies doing moon rituals you're going to be releasing yourself and stop don't send anything negative to people just just do it for yourself for yourself okay don't send anything negative to people see the ringmaster is here the ringmaster of uh, um discernment clear vision and details so the reading master is going to be coming in to help you cancers to discern certain things cancers you need to discern this thing with this with this man all right you need to re re discern this thing with this man this man is a very deceptive man okay and you know who you know because you watch me all the time okay discern learn to discern people you are not discerning people you need to learn that because the people who are good for you is the people that you throw under the bus you're wrong people okay the people you'll need to learn discernment because the people who love you the most is the ones you throw underneath the bus. It is a quarter that is going to help you to learn the sermon. I love you guys. I gotta go. I speak to you in January. Mm -hmm.